Hi, I'm Jeff Kleinman, and you're watching my series on post-concussion syndrome. Uh, this may be my last video on post-concussion syndrome uh, specifically. Uh, last month, I reached the two-year mark, and uh, I found some pretty solid improvement. And uh, I think I found what I'm looking for in terms of treatment for post-concussion syndrome. So I will not stop doing videos but my focus is going to continue to shift. Um, I've taken up Qigong and some other healing arts, um, and uh, I hope to hope to chronicle that journey. Uh, but I wanted to give you an update on where I'm at at two years and uh, really what has been the turning point for me in dealing with post-concussion syndrome. For me, I feel like uh, I am sitting on a, a stool now. I have a three-legged stool of uh, very strong support that um, seems to really be giving me the ability to lead a life. Um, those three things are, in no particular order, uh, medical marijuana. Uh, I found that medical marijuana is a massive tool for me, both CBD and THC, to be able to manage my symptoms, reduce the anxiety and stress, sleep, and live a very happy life. Um, I think uh, medical marijuana is really important. Uh, I'm going to be launching a new project called The Medicated Show, uh, where I'm going to talk to people who use medical marijuana, supply medical marijuana, and, and are using this as medicine. There's going to be a lot of discussion in our country, the United States, where I'm, where I'm in, uh, about marijuana recreationally, and uh, I really want to enhance the conversation about it medically, because it's a really good tool. It is a really good tool. So for me, the second leg of that three-legged stool is the ketogenic diet. Um, I've been on the ketogenic diet since October. Uh, I've lost a lot of weight, but more importantly, I've found that it gives me a lot of control over how I feel. Uh, I've had a lot more energy. Um, I've been able to maintain that energy. I don't have the dips and crashes. And I think in general, um, as my brain continues to heal or has continued to heal, um, I think running on ketones and running uh, on a fat adapted body, uh, which is what ketogenic diet does for you, um, really gives more than the standard American diet. Uh, cutting out grain, cutting out uh, sugar, um, you know, it, it, most carbohydrates, many carbohydrates. Uh, it's been a really strong tool for me. And, and I feel like uh, it's giving me energy and clarity. So those are in short supply with post-concussion syndrome. So I was very happy that uh, the ketogenic diet has been there as a, as a tool. Um, the third tool, the third leg of this stool that I'm sitting on right now is uh, Qigong and energy work. Um, I started doing Qigong because uh, everything else I tried to do in terms of movement uh, was giving me setbacks. And uh, I found that uh, I could do Qigong and it wasn't giving me setbacks. It was actually making me more energetic, giving me more energy, making me feel better. Um, so for the last uh, seven, eight months, I've been pursuing Qigong. Um, I've really found some amazing tools in the Qigong space, and I will continue to talk about that. That's part of my journey now, is sort of learning healing arts, learning that self-care healing that Qigong gives you. If you don't know what Qigong is, it's basically an e Asian art, healing art, uh, that um, really is meditation and movement. Um, I will put a link uh, in the show notes here, or the video notes, or whatever you want to call it, uh, to uh, the practice that I do. It's, uh, it's called the Primordial Qigong. I also do a sound healing. I'll link to both of those. Very powerful stuff, very good stuff, and the third leg of that stool. So um, in this journey over the last two years, I've had some very severe depression, um, some very severe anxiety, uh, hopelessness, um, if you've watched my videos, you know I've dealt with some pretty dark things. Um, and I think that it's all connected, that dealing with those things, dealing with the issue, dealing with the injury, dealing with the trauma that surrounds the injury, the trauma that surrounds the isolation, the trauma that surrounds having the life that once was not be. But for me, what I've really found with post-concussion syndrome is that it stopped me in my tracks. Um, I was a spirits journalist writing about alcohol, traveling the world, drinking and eating, getting fat, getting sick. Um, and a little girl threw a ball at it that I managed not to catch and it hit me in the head. And for two years I spent uh, slowing down, really getting in touch with who I am, understanding real suffering, connecting with other human beings who are going through this process, 
learning where strength was, understanding the role of family, finding my ability to get calm even in a space that isn't, creating calm spaces and creating warm spaces to heal in, and most importantly, sharing my experience. This video series has been more than just me helping you. It's been an opportunity for me to tell my story, for me to share my experience of dealing with a traumatic brain injury and journeying through quite dark places. My hope is that you're watching this video and you'll have some hope because hope is really warranted. And no, you may not have the life you had before, but ask yourself, after all you've been through with post-concussion syndrome, is that the life you really want to have again? Because going through this, learning how to take care of yourself, learning about suffering, learning about the uh, medical system and how it can be both very helpful and very damaging, and looking at other things like self-care and tools beyond Western medicine to bring to bear to, to deal with a very difficult injury. So I hope this video series will continue to give people who are dealing with post-concussion syndrome hope, support, and most importantly, love. Because really, this journey that I've been on and I'm continuing to go on is, is one which has taught me quite a bit. And, and I really thank you for allowing me to share this with you. Um, you know, sometimes I'm sitting here looking at my, at my uh, cell phone that's pointed at me recording all this thinking like, you know, I'm talking into the void. Who hears me? But you have. And many of you have reached out in the comments through, uh, through two years of videos. Uh, and shared your stories and shared your experience and give support to others. So keep going. It's really some of the best advice that I've gotten on my journey. And that's just keep going. Just keep going. Because the truth of the matter is you are on the path. You're watching a video about post-concussion. You're looking for answers and they exist. And the answers that I found may not be the ones that you find. And the things that work for me may not be the things that work for you. But the truth of the matter is, is there are tools out there to help you on your journey. And if you look and you're open and you try things that maybe are outside of the conventional, you might find some really amazing healing. So that's it. That's two years. That's two years of post-concussion syndrome. That's a lot of time spent talking and sharing and, and giving you the insight into this journey. And I look forward to my new journeys um, I'm so excited about talking about medical marijuana. There's, there's so many amazing things that medical marijuana can do that conventional prescription medicine is failing to do. And the whole cloud around it, including the recreational one, with this culture of dabs and shatter and all this stuff, really is noise that the signal of medical marijuana, medical cannabis must rise beyond. Also, I'm really excited about sharing what I'm doing with Qigong. Um, believe it or not, I'm going to be teaching a class in Qigong in, in July here in Massachusetts out in Salem. And uh, I continue to pursue that path of sharing the things that I continue to learn about um, caring for my own energy and, and meditative movement uh, with all of you and all the people who, uh, who need it. So um, again, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for posting your comments. Thank you for following me along for the last two years. There is hope. There is healing. I know it's difficult. I know post-concussion syndrome feels like a nightmare. It feels like a darkness that will never end. But it is a journey. It is a path. And it can lead somewhere, something special. You just have to be open to it. So, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel because this is not my last video. There's plenty more to come. So, thank you.